This one is the Lilabo Body Cream. I think this was really cheap. Actually, this soap brand is an Australian brand. I've like used half of it. This is the headband I use. This is what it's like. Let's unbox it together. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be introducing my favorite bath products, also my favorite products to use in the bathroom because why not? I haven't really done a video like this. I've done a video um, about my skincare, but I haven't done like a video on my favorite bath products, like my favorite body cream or my favorite hand wash or what kind of face wash I use. And I also do have a little delivery from Lush. So thank you Lush for sending me this. I'm also going to introduce some of the products they have sent me. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so firstly, let me introduce some body creams I religiously use. So firstly, I have these two creams. I think this one might be familiar for you guys, but this one, you guys have probably seen something similar. But I'll be introducing this one first. This one is the Lilabo Body Cream, and it is scented as Hinoki and also some avocado. It's very woody. I think but this is what the inside looks like I've actually used a like okay not too much because it's really special I often use it after I get out of the bath when I'm feeling really really dry it smells really nice it smells really clean it smells really woody I feel like I'm in a forest when I'm smelling this but this is a cream definitely for the body I feel like I use it on my arms. This is one of the creams I use after I get out of the shower. And another cream I use is the Tea Tree Calming Hydro Gel. I think this is really popular, honestly, everywhere. I've seen a lot of people use this around me. And one thing I definitely use this on is when it's a really hot day or when I got sunburned, I use this on my skin. This is definitely an essential to when I do get sunburned or even if it's a hot day. But I think this was really cheap. I think it was around like eight or seven dollars for this much, around 250 mils. So I use like so much of it when I do want to use the tea tree oil. But I often use it after I get sunburned or when it's a really hot day on my face. And now let's move on to my favorite hand soap in the world, Aesop. You guys have probably seen this everywhere and actually this soap brand is an Australian brand so when I'm back in Australia, Melbourne, I would always see this everywhere and when I came abroad to Tokyo, I didn't really expect this brand to be really popular as popular as in Melbourne since I don't see a lot of Melbourne brands really popular overseas but this brand was really popular in Japan too. I really like it. It has hints of rosemary leaf so this is one of my favorite hand washes that I use all the time and I'll probably be repurchasing it soon when I do run out. Also, when I do give gifts to people as a housewarming gift, this is a brand I always run to. Next product is this one. I've like used half of it, like no, more like 80%. I use this every day. You guys have probably seen this product on social media because it's borderline everywhere. Like I see it on TikTok, I see it on Instagram Reels. Even I heard like some K-pop idols also use this. I feel like when I use face wash, it's really thin sometimes, but this face wash, it bubbles up and it, like you feel like you're touching marshmallows. I don't know, I feel like that's such a random thing to say, but it also grabs your pores and also gets your dead skin off. So this is definitely a product I recommend to all my friends asking what skincare they should get in Japan. I think it's all suitable for all skin types, I believe. And also this is very affordable too. When you buy it in Japan, not in Australia, sometimes this Japanese products in Australia are like, they're like so expensive. Maybe they're like priced, marked by like three times the average price because you're purchasing a Japanese product in Australia. But this was only around like, I think like five or six dollars AUD. So this is definitely a product I recommend if you do come to Japan. And also one essential thing when I do after I get out of the shower or before I go to bed is I often wear a headband. This is the headband I use. I know this is the character of like Hello Kitty, I'm not too sure what it is, but I often use a headband when I go to bed or when I do my skincare, since I sometimes do get pimples on my forehead. As you see, there's literally one here. So it's always an essential to me to use a hairband when I go to bed or when I do my skincare so my forehead can breathe and my pores don't get clogged from my hair. So 
a hairband is definitely I recommend it this is just a random one I purchased but there's so many selections on one like there's so many selections at Don Quixote I did a video on that you guys should check it out and lastly one essential thing in my bathroom is my speaker this is the JBL X large pulse 5 speaker look it changes color okay wait this is what it's like like, I always connect my phone to it. Every time I go in the shower, I always listen to music when I'm in the bath. You know, you just want to vibe to music when you're in the shower. So, I always have a speaker in my bathroom and... I actually got this gifted from X Large. Thank you so much. I use it every day. But that is the end of my products that I use in the bath that I really enjoy. My skincare, my hand wash, my tea tree, my headband, and my speaker. But I also have some other things to show in this Lush box Lush has sent me. Let's unbox it together. So this is what the inside looks like. So this is the ghosty bath bomb. It has a citrus lemon scent. No, I already smell the citrus lemon scent. I feel like some bath bombs, they go really like light on the scents. It's like a little like not too much, but I personally love my Lush bath bombs being really scented dramatically. So I'm really excited to use this. And then next, if I can pull it out, this is what it looks like. This is what the inside looks like. Whoa, it smells very sweet. I've never really tried a shower jelly before. I've always seen these in the Lush stores, but I've never actually like owned one. So I'm excited to try this one out. Whoa, this is like, it lo nearly looks like paint. I can use it on my hair and also when I'm washing myself. But wait, this is really, I've never really seen anything this color. Yes, this one. This is also a bubble bath bomb. This has a cool mint scent. It's really refreshing, really clean. It's really different to the other bath bombs I've owned from Lush. I've never really owned a mint bath bomb before. That's quite cool. I'm excited to try it out because all my bath bombs are normally really sweet. Anyways, guys, that is the end of my favorite bath products video and a small Lush review. I'm excited to try everything out from the Lush collection and I'm glad that I was able to introduce my favorite bath products or my essentials to when I take a shower. So definitely let me know if you do want more videos like this. I haven't taken a video like this, so it's quite exciting. But that was the end of my video. Thank you for watching till the end and make sure to subscribe, leave a comment and... All my socials are linked down below. See you guys.